Interesting. Hey guys, it's Mume and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny's here and my sidekick on the other side. Shenanigans is with us again today. Welcome into the uh, It's Craft O'Clock show on Thursday afternoons at 2 p.m. We're glad you're with us today. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe and click that like button. Help us reach our goal of 400,000 subscribers in 2022. If you're new, check out our website, www.maymaymadeit.com, where you can find all kind of cool craft supplies that you can order and have shipped directly to your house here in the United States and all over the world. So, May May, what's up today? Well, you mentioned the 400,000 subscriber goal, and y'all, it's it. we're kind of flying. I mean, we're not like flying. It's not like we're kind of a hamster on a wheel, but not a fast hamster, like a slow hamster, like like the one that waits till everybody gets off and then gets on after everybody else has that hamster. That's how fast we're going, <laughs> but it is moving. And um, I'm kind of surprised because I didn't think that was going to be the case, but thank y'all so much for giving us a subscribe. You've been very kind to all my friends around town subscribing to them, so it means a lot that you're also subscribing to me. I appreciate it. We're going to do something fun today. I'm calling it, um, what did I call it? Uh, one positive plus one negative equals two projects. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make um, a project using the positive and the negative of a thing. And it's one of my favorite things. And let me show you what that is. We sell out of this every time we get it. And we got it in a little while ago and we didn't sell out of it. And I was like, okay, I get to play with it now. So I'm really excited. And it is my Christmas tree punch. I love punches. Now, some people have said to me, Maymay, thanks for bringing punches back. I got news for you. Punches never left Maymay. Like, I am a, pun a punch fan even over my electronic cutting machines. Listen, I'd rather have a punch right here at my hand that I can just punch and make a project so much more than plugging in my computer, plugging in a machine, yada, yada. I still use my machines when I need them, when I have to have them, but I prefer punches. So today we're going to look at using two punches and we're going to make two different projects. So let's get started here. So here's my plan. My plan is if you're, if you're to this point making your Christmas cards, I feel you. Okay. Time's getting away from you. It's time to get your cards made because mid November you need to have them in the mail because it's going to slow down. Okay. Mail's going to slow down. So my thought is what if you're, if you're going to make one card, why not get a card and a tag at the same time? Mm -hmm. Right? So that's what we're going to try to do today. We're going to try to give you the best of both worlds. I don't know, just the best. We're gonna give you the best we can. And I gotta remember what goes where. That I'm not using yet. Okay. This I'm not using, well, kinda. All right, so let's talk about the card. Here's what you'll need for the card. You'll need a card base. You'll need a green, uh, not green. You're gonna need a coordinating color that is uh, three and a half. I'm gonna double check my measures. Five and a half. Three and a half by five and a half. This piece is three by five and a half. And then we're going to use a couple little pieces to make some little accents, okay? And you're going to need this punch. I love this punch. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put these guys over here. We're going to use three punches today. Not two. I said two, but it's three. We're going to take this guy and we're going to punch into here. I'm going to have to make a little edit to what I had planned, but it's no big deal. We're going to punch into here. Now, I made this strip about the same width as the punch, just so I could kind of line it up easier. So you can see how I'm doing that. And I'm just gonna punch this, okay? So it leaves me with two pieces. You guessed it, this is for the tag. We're gonna put that aside. This one we're gonna use here. So check this out. This is super cute, right? See how we can see the Christmas tree through it? But let's make it cuter with another punch. So let's grab our border punch. And I'm gonna use this little scallop punch, which I love. Here's all you have to be sure of, okay? Make sure wherever you're starting your punch is the same on both sides. So if you look at the bottom of your punches, they have these grid lines and you can kind of line things up using that. So I'm just going to start my punches in between the same grid lines. Okay, so I'm, I can be sure when I flip this guy over, um, I'm starting in the same spot. So now I'm just going to run down using my border punch and punch this guy. That feels a little off. We're going to see what happens. We did okay. We did all right, okay? So let's get both sides done. Take your time to line it up. I can get in a hurry sometimes, and then I get that double punch. And I gotta be honest, sometimes that double punch has made it to a card, okay? It just has, it's just what it is. Now, I'm gonna line this side up the same, making sure I put it in the same spots. And I'm gonna punch this side as well. beans. I'm going to flip this one around. 
be easier for me. I don't suggest, so I've done this before. I flipped this around and people said, I never thought about flipping it around. If you're doing the more intricate punches, I don't suggest doing the flip around. On these simple ones like this, it's not a big deal, but on the intricate ones, it can throw you off a little bit. So only do the flip around on the easies. All right, so now this guy's gonna mount here and I'm gonna mount him with some foam tape because I want some distance between the two. Wondering where this cardstock is from? We got some Mente back. We got some Mente back in stock and we got the six by six. We, we couldn't get the 12 by 12. We got the six by six Merry Little Christmas. That's what this one is. So let's put a little foam on here. Little Scotty, who's still going strong, y'all. He has not, he has not finished. He's like, I'm not done. Just don't count me out. It's what he's saying. Even though his birthday passed and we missed it, he doesn't seem to be too upset with us about missing it because he's still going strong. And I overlapped both of those. You thought I would have learned on the first one. Watch. Snip, okay. snip. Congratulations. Snip, snip. All right. There's that. Then one more piece at the bottom. I feel like I'm rushing today. I don't know why. I have time. Why am I rushing? Because that is my life right now. Because it's the season for rushing around here. Okay. So, let's take this off. And mount it on up. Yikes. I'm being quiet and y'all aren't talking. No one's talking. It's like... No one's talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're getting all of this off of here. Now, you could turn this into a shaker element if you wanted to. This is where people struggle with their shaker elements. Shaker elements are not hard. The only difference in this and a shaker is you have to put something here to hold your stuff in. That's the only difference. But people struggle with them. And I understand because I did too at first. All right, now what I'm going to do is line this guy up so that roughly the same amount of my scallop shows on both sides. Why did I say roughly? Because I'm not going to get it right. <laughs> It'll be slightly off. It'll be okay. Then we're going to mount this directly to the card. Look how cute that is just by itself. So cute. Oh gosh, my glue got a little runny. Do you know why it is? Because I'm refilling my glue with some old glue, y'all. I'm using really old glue. Like I think it might even be, it's old. I don't know how old it is. All right, I'm going to eyeball center this on the front of the card. Look how cute. Come on. That All right, let's make the little sentiment. So, thir a third punch. Paula said, everybody's just watching you cry out. That's what it is? I'm just flying through. Um, so, third punch, the real estate punch. If you don't have the real estate punch, let Shannon tell you. I love the real estate punch. It is one of my favorites. She uses real estate punch a lot. I yeah. love it, too. Well, it's and perfect for sentiments, and a lot of our sentiments that fit inside it. A lot of them do. Today, we're going to use one from the stamp set called Glistening Once Again. Also a great one you need to have. Glistening Once Again is a good one. It's got a good bow on it, too. Good bow, good, tr uh, good, good, um, good, what is that, poinsettia, good foliage. It's a good set. Foliage. Foliage. I don't think foliage. there's any new mente in there, Lynn. I think it's reorders predominantly. It is, but, just reorders. Um, new again. News they coming. Again. They just released. Um, yeah, they did just release or they a just couple showed of, us the uh, new release. six by eight packs. I don't know if we were able to order yet. That we uh, will be ordering. Yeah, you can't. The, the real estate punch is uh, gone. It'll be back. We try to keep it. Until it's gone, it'll be back. The most beautiful sight to see. Is a Apparently, tree. if I'm not mistaken, they discontinued the real estate punch. Did they? I think so. If they did, then I'm going to have to say something to somebody. Who am I going to say something to? Somebody hook me up with somebody. Okay, so here's what I'm doing here. I cut this little piece. I want to go a little wider. I cut this little piece the width of the edge uh, of the center portion of my um, real estate punch. Just something like that to kind of be like a belt. Then what I'm going to do... So I'm going to put it here, and I think, it'll be, I think I'm going to let that run all the way across as if it goes off the page, maybe. I'm not sure. I like kind of like that. And I do have this extra foam that I cut off and didn't use. So if we put it right here, we can even that up. I like that. 
Uh, Tr Tisha, I don't believe we brought the paper back here to show you what came back in stock, or did we? We did. Okay, we did. So, yes, we'll show you. We're going to craft first. We're going to craft first, y'all. Look how cute this is. Right. Then this. Snippy, snippy. Now, if you don't have scraps, like that was a scrap I had. If you don't have a scrap like that, just measure that strip. But I just use a scrap. To be honest, I probably should have inked that now that I look at it. I probably should have inked it. Let's dot, dot, dash it. When in doubt, dot, dot, dash it. All right. And that'll make it show up. Now, I'm not going to be able to talk. Why can't you talk? Y'all know. You can't, you can't dot, dot, dash and talk. I can't. She don't know how to talk, y'all. And y'all are leaving everybody hanging. Somebody's got to talk. it is talk. pretty. I like it. Good looking card, my mouth. Should we dot, dot, dash, dot, dot, dash, dot, dot, dash? Yeah, Tamitha said that the real estate punch has been retired. Well, they need to bring it back. I thought that I remembered that, but... What's up, G? Welcome in, buddy. Hi, G. I can't talk. If I talk, it won't be a dot, dot, and a dash. It'll be something else. Dot, dot, dash. That's so cute. That really helps. What, doing dot, dot, dash? Dot, dot, dash. No, the actual dot, 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 dot dash, dash helps. Dot, dot, dash, dot, dot, dash. <laughs> You're so silly. Look, that does work. It really makes it pop. So if you ever forget to ink, dot, dot, dash. All right. Um, yeah, dot, dot, dash always works. Or so smear, smear, ink. Project one, <laughs> smear, smear, ink, because I have done that too. Um, project one, let's do project two. So I'm excited about project two. I want to spend a little time on it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take our newest tag set, which I love. This is the set that will sit on your desk. This is one you're going to want to keep handy. This is the one called um, Made For You Tags. We're going to use this guy today. And I'm going to show you a, a couple things that I did this, um, we did it for some samples. You're going to see the um, card reveal at three, I mean the stamp club reveal at three. And we did some samples and I did this and I loved it. So I want to show you all this. Okay, and I'm not giving anything away. I'm just showing you a technique. Okay, so I'm going to take, am I in camera? Yes. Okay, I'm going to take the tag, the big tag, and I'm going to ink it in green. I'm going to use color for this, okay? I think it's really cool. Um, this will really make this look very, very busy like we've done a lot of work but we won't be doing a lot of work we're going to do easy work creative cindy wants to know will you please show the dot dot dash up close i'll try but i think my um zoomer's not working <laughs> my focuser i mean to say but i will try like your zoomer. my zoomer's not working all right so there is that oh good we're going to go with that hate when your zoomer don't work sometimes my zoomer don't work all right i have got to finagle this so i forgot about that i'm going to take this tag off for a second because um I want to use this piece of scrap. I don't want to cut another piece. Anybody else ever do that? You just want to use a piece of scrap? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to load this stamp, this dirty stamp that I'm just getting everywhere, onto this block. And I'm going to angle it on here. All I want now is the middle portion. So I'm not really worried about getting the whole thing. I'll show you what I mean. We're just going to do some paper piecing. Do y'all know I love to paper piece? Oh, I love paper piecing. All right, so make sure I've got that center in there. And again, I'm not trying to get anything but the shape, so I'm not real worried about the, the stamping. I just want the shape in the middle. Now i got to cut out. Y'all going to have to talk because i got to cut out. <laughs> um, Sherilyn wants to know, what is the real estate punch? Well, it was that cute punch that makes a little real estate sign that has since been retired. But one thing you can do, I want to tell you guys this. When you're having a rainy day, a crafty rainy day, where you're like, I want to do, I want to get in the craft room, I want to get to my craft space, but I don't know what to do. Like I don't have a project and you don't really maybe have time to start a project. That is the perfect time to go into either your dies or your cutting machine and cut out some shapes if you don't have punches or what have you. Do, use that time to prep some sentiment shapes for you. So that way when you need them, you've got them right there in your drawer or you're in a file or in a little bucket or whatever, just sentiment shapes or sentiment strips even. 
And I've shown you before, it is a great way to use up your scraps. Because I know we all have so many scraps, but making sentiment um, strips out of them and stuff like that is a great way to use them up. That that you're cutting out there would be pretty to put a stamp in. Beautiful. It reminds me of the real estate punch, the shape of it. It does. All right, so I've lost my line a little bit because I didn't do a great job here, but here we go. We're going to just pretend like we can see it and see what we get. We're going to get what we get. And not pitch a fit. That's right. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. We're paper piecing. I just think this is so pretty. And you guys might think it's too much work. And if it is, I get it, but I think it's pretty. So this piece I'm going to glue right here. I think it'll be so pretty. How many times am I going to tell you I think it'll be pretty? I think it'll be pretty. Oh, so pretty. What do y'all think I think? It'll be pretty. I think so, too. I'm wondering. All right, Aww, so. Yes. I've been trying to think what you were going to think. Wondering what I'm I was thinking. thinking. You're thinking it's going to be pretty. Look at that. It's scary to think what you think. Isn't that cute, though? What are you thinking? I think it's cute. Think it's I'm going to really scary. quickly trim this down. Remember, we make these so you don't have to have a um, punch. It looks like you have to have a punch, but you don't. All you do is cut a piece of cardstock two and three fourths wide by four and a quarter tall, and look how cute that is. Now, let's take our off cut. Remember this guy? And let's put him here. He is not good here because he's too busy, but he's good here. But one thing I'm not loving is how you can hardly see him. So watch, I'm going to ink him, and some of you guys are not gonna like that I'm not inking everything. You don't have to ink everything, okay? You don't have to, you don't have to ink every little layer. If you want to, do that. I'm not a person who has a hard and fast rule with inking. Some people do, but I don't. See how that just brings it in? You can just see it a little bit better. Some people are very picky about their inking, and that's okay. Do you? Some people would think I just broke an absolute rule. Our friends are so charming said, it'll be pretty. Thanks, so charming. Y'all are so charming. They are so sweet. I got to spend the morning with them um, because I'm going to tell y'all something that I'm excited about. I went to our local quilt guilds meeting today. I know. Who am I? I don't even know, but I did it. Okay. So I'm going to put him, do I want to put him up high so I can have a sentiment, put him low, put a sentiment across him? How do I want to do him? I'm thinking up high. Uh, Lori, I don't think I have a cold, but I have had a stopped up nose. I think it's kind of, my allergies kicking in. Let's do this one. I take my daily me Addison. Your Addison? <laughs> Your daily Addison? Allergy medicine. Daily Addison. Oh, Addison. Allergy medicine. Al Allison. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, it's a name. All right, let's go to our scraps again, and let's just see what we can do. I love to use up scraps. Ms. Joan, clearly that tree is a plaid. It is not a solid. I'm not getting in this fight with you guys. I'm just not doing okay, it. Okay, Strawberry Hill asked a question. What did Miss Joan think it was a solid? No, she oh, she's asking. what I thought. I would say it's a plaid, too. Clearly. I would say plaid. it's a plaid. Y'all would, wouldn't believe it, but I think that's a plaid. This says, good tidings to you and all your kin. I'm very sorry, Strawberry, but I do not see your question. Can you That's run it through again, please, ma'am? I like this one. So, you guys, I want y'all to see something. Did you see how fast I was able to do these? Did you notice? Like, really fast. And if you have to get some cards out, feels pretty good, doesn't it? Feels pretty good. Oops, maybe not upside down. No, maybe not upside down. I'm going to put this right at the bottom of my tree trunk. Wow, so charming. You are so correct. There are 424 people watching, and there's not 420 likes. There's well, only like 150. Sometimes so. you guys don't realize people don't like it. No. You don't think that's it? No. I mean, y'all need to like it. Punch in a hole. Like, I just warned y'all. Fire in a hole, punch in a hole. <laughs> Put my pen back in my glue before somebody fusses at me or doesn't, which you should be. What's your job? Tam you had one job. Tam wants to know what green that was. That green is... Pretty green? Um, Shady Lane. Shady Lane. I was hoping you were going to say Verdon. Y'all just like making me say that word I can't say. Favorite to not say. Ver, ver, ver. <laughs> ver, 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 ver. I like it when she goes ver, 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 ver. That's my favorite. 
Okay, what's the color you used on the tree edge? Um, walnut stain. Um, I don't know who cut that the last time, but if they use scissors to do that, <laughs> we need some new scissors. <laughs> when they gnaw the you. edge. Bless you, Addison's. <laughs> I cut my mic off. Oh, it's good. They appreciate that. Look at that. It looks like somebody mangled that. If we have a pair of scissors doing that, we need to uh, sharpen them. <laughs> Debbie Wilson says she's going to be a great grandmama. <gasps> does this mean you're going to be, you're going to have a grandchild from a grandchild, or does this mean you plan to be great? <laughs> wow. Do you, do you just plan to be great? My grandmother, I mean, my mother always said she was a great grandmother no matter what. She was always great. Yep. Emma Lou says she's watching us on her new 75-inch awesome TV. Sweet. It's like you're here with me. Oh, my goodness. I bet. That's, That's big. Some I, It probably right is. Well, That's what my Blake that is. That is life-size. We are life-size on that. If you meet us in person, we'll look larger, but it's just an optical illusion. <laughs> Blake wants to get a 75-inch and put it between our two back doors. Then he likes his. I don't know how big it is. 70? It is a 70. His, his, he likes this downstairs. And it is nice. Oh, I did this off camera. Look, I just ran some ribbon through. I no, ran some. You got to redo it. Reach nope. Out. Show how it's done. Nope, not redoing it. Hey, but watch I this. Tried. But watch this. I tried. So, do y'all ever see all those cute little tags that have that cute little bow right here? And you're like, how they get that bow sideways but run this through that way? Well, yeah, here's, we're always wondering how they put that red ribbon through. Thanks, everyone, for the blessings. <laughs> you're just trying to start drama, aren't you? You're just trying. You're like, can't Ms. have Jones a day without going drama. To be a grandma in January. Oh, look, guys. Here's what I'm doing. Oh, I did cool. a slip knot. I'm, I'm always trying to bring us. Okay, listen, guys. I did a slip knot. I'm going to take my bead threader and put it underneath here, underneath the slip knot. I'm going to put my twine through there. See that? And then tie a bow. And it looks good. It'll be like sideways. Oh, you fancy and I'm not tying a Shannon bow. Don't even ask. I still don't know how to tie that thing. Shannon still don't know how to tie that thing. <laughs> I haven't tied it again since that day. I don't know how. It will be hers from her granddaughter. That's so cool. Okay. So, don't tighten. Don't tighten your bow until you have it right. Because you can you can finagle it till it's a knot, and once it's a knot, you cannot. Once it's a knot, you cannot. I like that. Oh, that's sweet, Lucy. She found out today that her chiropractor is pregnant, and one of her first thoughts was, oh, "I can make her a folio." <laughs> oh, what a sweet thought! Okay, you guys, look. I just want you to see. We did that in twenty-two minutes. Miss Joan put in a correction. She's going to be a great grandma in January. Is she going to be a great great grandma or just a mediocre grandma? But that's another thing Mom used to say. She's like, some are mediocre, but I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> Mom would say I'm that. I'm going to go with she's going to be a great. Miss Joan is going to be a grandma. great great grandma. Oh, I already know is. it. I already know it. The I would be mediocre. That comes out of that woman's fingers. It's the truth. Are going to be a blessing. That is to the truth. A, a, a lucky great kiddo. grandchild. It is. What do y'all think? I'm gonna zoom in. Or not? You did good. I think those are precious. And I'm gonna see if I can get where y'all can see the dot dot dash. I mean, if you're gonna do this, you might as well do this. Wouldn't it be cute? Listen, could you not look so extra if the gift you gave? had this card and this tag with it they'd be like come on okay let me rephrase it for you miss joan you're going to be a fantastic great grandmother not just a great grandmother a fantabulous if it's miss joan because she's not going to use yeah. a normal word she's going to mix words up fantabulous I um like that textured green paper behind the Jenny, we do sell that tool. If you can see in the chat, I believe Tamitha posted the link for that. Oh, I'm sorry, um, Apollo's Crafty Shack. I hope he's feeling better soon. Yes, you can make sets of them and give them away and do them in that bag we did before. Wouldn't it be cute? I love this idea. I also love, so you see how we stamped in the green? It coordinates. Do you see that? It look it's very coordinated. Like we did it on purpose. It's very Shannon. It's very coordinated. So yes, we do carry this and I think this is the greatest thing ever. And I'm actually gonna get one and take home to my sewing room because this is I mean it's for that. It's a beater. It's a beater threader. <laughs> it's not a beater threader. 
is an easy beater. And we love these. Love them. All right. Well, Allison, we'll be praying for you as you go through uh, your chemo. That's never fun, for sure. But we are glad that you can see the bright side and that you'll get to watch the Aww. crack of the clock every Tuesday, every Thursday. That's very, very cool. You can find a bright side. Right there, don't knock off. That's very, very cool. Coordinated, but not the same. Same, but different. Where's that from? That's from a movie or something. Same, but different. All right, so let me, y'all want to see Mente. Here's the deal. This is re-up Mente, and it's my understanding this is requested re-up Mente. So if you've been asking, here it is. This is apple season. So cute. Now, I don't think, I'm not going to say. Let me look. I don't know what all we got, so I got to look. Yeah, we got the 12 by 12 also. So this is apple. Oh, gosh. Why does their paper smell like honey? Zoom out just a little. I will. Because I was way in one. That's pretty good. I can keep going. This is apple season, and look how beautiful this is. I'm sure you guys requested this one to come back. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. It's a good fall paper. It's really good for a recipe album because it's got all oh, the apples yeah. in it and all the kitcheny kitchen things. And a kitty cat. And you guys voted. You wanted recipe album Saturday, so you're getting part one. You're getting part one. It's going to have to be parted because what I'm wanting to do in there is pretty detailed. So the detail work will come in the second one, as it always does. It'll come in the second video. Look at this. So pretty. Let me show you the. Let me show you the cut aparts in this one. Let me show you. Oh man, I always do that with mente. Mente. And I do it with simple stories too. All right. Just stay there. I'll come back to you. Just stay there. Okay. I'll come back to you. I want to find the cut aparts to show y'all. I think they are here. Oh, look at them. Wouldn't this be a cute recipe album for real? Fairy. Look at the puppy and the kitty. How Precious. cute are they? How cute are they? So cute. They're cute. My cute. I don't want to confuse y'all though. Let me show y'all. The paper I'm using, well, I can't get it. The paper I'm using for the recipe album for Saturday is the Baking Spirits Bright, which we are out of right now, but Vince has ordered 100 more, 50 more, 175 more, a bunch more. more. He ordered a bunch more. I know you guys bought it out because I told you I wanted to do the recipe album with it, so y'all bought that one out. Um, and then he, and then him and Taylor brought it back. So we will have that back, hopefully by Saturday. That'd be neat if it would come back by Saturday. All right, so that is apple season. It's apple season. And then... Um, maybe I should show them the folio for Saturday so they can grab it if they want to grab it. Should I? Here's the deal about the recipe thing. I'm taking advantage of a pre-made folio, but here's why. I've not had the opportunity to make a pre-made folio. I've made pre-made cards. It's a photo play pack. And I wanted to use that because you don't have to do the pre-made folio. You can just use our other folio designs. But I thought it'd be cool. And this particular folio has this really big pocket in it, which I think is really cool for recipes. And it also has a waterfall. It's really cool. So we'll grab one and show you guys that. So if you're wanting to order it, you can. Um, Botany is back. I'm going to tell you something right now. This paper pack is not seasonal. This paper pack is Gorgeous. timeless. It is timeless. Look at this. So beautiful. Now, I, I've noticed that Mente gets rid of stuff from time to time. So, if you've liked this one, you need to grab it. Look how gorgeous this is. You only have to tell me once. It is timeless. And it, you could use this in spring. You could use this all seasons. All seasons. I love it. It's so pretty. Love it. All right. Then, um, oh, this one. We did our, it's not in here. We, uh, Jenny, we can, you can use whatever payment method you prefer. If you prefer PayPal over credit card, that is absolutely fine. You can do whichever one that you, whatever your preference is. This one is the one we made the um, gratitude journal with, and we did it with the composition book, so I have a video for that one. This is called Graceful. If you're a purple fan, um, teal, if you like creams and whites and pinks, I want to show you the cut apart in this one. Absolutely gorgeous. 
Willow, do you have um, botany? Because the thing I want you to tell people, if you do, is, and everybody says this when they come in the store, they're like, why is mente so much more pretty in person? And botany is one of those. Yep. The camera just doesn't do it justice. It just doesn't. But look at this. Look at these bows. So pretty. By the way, y'all, these colors are supposed to be very in for Christmas. Not in May May's house, but in other people's houses. Because May May is green and red and black and all those colors. But this is a beautiful paper pack. So you can um, pick this one up and then make the gratitude journal or see the video um, for inspiration if you get this paper pack. So pretty. So well, pretty. hello, Abigail. I'm glad you're watching with your mom. That's so cool. Hi. Are, is, are, is she Abigail? Abigail is a four-year-old, <gasps> and she's watching today with her mom. It's a big four-year-old. And she says hi. Hi. Uh, unfortunately, the answer to your question, Andrea Mack, is there is not a limit to the charge for shipping. However, we do charge exactly what we are charged we don't pad the pricing for shipping if i can buy the label to ship it to you cheaper than you paid then you receive a refund so um but unfortunately it is what it is and shipping is high hey i messed up i should have shown you all these in case you're shopping i'm sorry um these are the cut up the paper die cuts that go with the um botany and the apple um season i want to make sure i show you all those in case you're shopping because um the cut aparts are fantastic and they're perfect for folios perfect for all right this is timeless this but wait a minute that's even okay i don't have a 12 by 12 which means we might not could have gotten it but this is called yes i do and you know what i say to this paper yes i do it's so gorgeous look at that for weddings for showers for any beautiful occasion and then these are the cut aparts for it too look how many you get in here you get so many i love the cut aparts this afternoon at three o'clock when our um when our reveal video goes up brenda leaned into some mente on her project and it's beautiful it's beautiful florabella i know you guys have requested there were several people that wanted to get this one back because it had horses this one has horses so let me show you this one florabella yeah thank you zen girls that is something i was telling somebody the other day we we can't always our computer system does not always get you the greatest shipping rate it gets you the best it knows how to get you but our shipping department can sometimes they sometimes know they can package something in a smaller box than our computer thinks you can, and they can sometimes save you shipping. And when they do, you'll get a refund. Now, we don't send you like an email saying, congratulations, we just give you that refund. So if you ever get a small refund from us, it's usually because we were able to sh save you on shipping. Now, it works a lot if you're international. Sometimes we can do better. Sometimes we can't. Sometimes we get a loss on international, just depending. Yeah. But sometimes we can do better. Look at the horses. Look at that. This one was requested to come back, and so I know Taylor ordered this one for you. Look at that. This is one that camera doesn't know justice. I can tell you by looking at it right now. The peaches and the pinky. It's more peachy than pinky, but it's so beautiful. Look at that. So pretty. Mente just has a piece of our heart. It just does. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That's so the South, isn't it? And, and it's a testimony to Mente that as many times as you've looked at these packs. I'm still finding something new. It's still. It's like shopping at Rustic. Comes back. Every time I shop at Rustic, I see something new. Yes, I, I'm, I'm going to try to not comment on that. <laughs> uh, it's the same way at um, So Charming. I, sold, I said that to Penny. I said, Penny, how is it every time I come in here, I see something new? And she's like, because every time you come in, there's either something new or there's something somewhere in a different spot. This page right here is worth the price of admission. Look at that beautiful page. Can you see that in this as a folio? Oh, so pretty. And just shipping to the UK is outrageous. I'm not going to tell you a story. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to try to make it better. It's high. It is. But... Uh, again, whatever it costs me to ship it to you is how much we're going to charge you. And if it if I can ship it less, I will. The, the The problem is there's no way for me to tell you how much shipping to the UK is because it's based on the size of the package that your product goes in. 
and how much that product weighs. So uh, it, sometimes I overseas, can't tell you that. sometimes overseas, there's a duty, and sometimes there's a different a VAT tax and stuff like that. That just depends on what you order, where you're having it shipped to. We don't have any control over those things. So, all right. So there's our papers we got back in. Um, somebody asked if we had the punch when this video, when my video went live, we had these punches. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> Let me show y'all this. I want y'all because I think Vinny needs to order these. Do y'all want a sneak peek of the folio for Saturday? Because I think it's really good. In the video, I show y'all putting it together because I think you need to see me put it together because it's it's a little detailed. It's a little detailed. Um, do you want a sneak peek of it or do you not? Because sometimes y'all don't like sneak peeks. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin your weekend. You, need, you you got about 20 minutes mm -hmm. today because you need to be off before the other video goes up. I don't know that we have 20 minutes worth of content well, today. Well, that's fine if you don't. So we, we may not be even out, be that long. I'm so. just saying you need to be out by then. Okay, so I'm going to show you all this, okay? This is the, it's incredible, okay? This is the folio from Photoplay that is, um, what is this one called? Folio 2. Man, I hope I didn't say that wrong. I think it's Folio 2. Wait, do I have the instructions laying here? Because I'm working this project right now. Let me see, let me see. I don't know what I did with them. I said I wasn't going to throw them away in case I needed to reference them. Um, yes, it is Folio 2. Folio 2. Okay, there's a couple of additions from me, okay? Meaning, these two magnets, actually all the magnets are additions from me. This folio did not come with magnets. The 49 and Market folios mostly come with magnets. This one did not, so I added my own, okay? So I wanted it to close pretty substantially, okay? So I put two big magnets here, and you'll notice they're on kind of a page. It's a little bit wonky, and I talk about it in the video. I added a magnet here because this is a pocket that you can put things in. And all now the folio itself comes with everything you see except the magnets, okay? The folio is everything you see. This is the kicker for me. Well, there was two things. This is the reason I wanted to use this one. Now, I added a magnet here, okay? I know, look at you, I know. <laughs> Thank you, Lucy. How many gold stars do I get? How many? I put the magnets on first, and I even said, I said in the video, aren't y'all proud I'm not doing implants? If you are, give this video a thumbs up. Okay, look, love this pocket. How great is this pocket for recipes? How great is it for, if you, so um, I got to tell y'all, and I need to tell this story in the, um, in the video. Maybe I'll remember. But I, when, shortly after mom passed, we were at her house, and um, I still cannot get over saying that. It's just that word, that sentence. We were at her house, and um, I don't know what led me to do this. I'm so glad that it did. But something led me to open one cabinet, and her recipe books were there. And my mother was not known for her cooking. But she had some things that we really loved. And this weekend, my aunt and my cousins were over at my house, and I pulled those recipe books out because there was a, um, you may see some of, some of it in here. I'm, you may see some of it. But there was a letter from my cousin that had like five family recipes. Like I found all this I didn't know we had. Had like five family recipes in it. And um, we were all talking about it and everything. And what Mama would do, I discovered something that she would do. She would jot down recipes on paper that don't have titles or anything. She would just jot them down and then stick them in there. And then her intention, I know my mom's intention, was to rewrite them on a card or something, but she never did. So isn't this a great pocket for those kinds of things when you just jot them down and, like, you can throw them in there? I think that is a great pocket for that. And then, look, you also get a small pocket here. A larger pocket here. This folio is great. You get a larger pocket here. Then you get these two little flappy pockets, corner pockets, and the waterfall. And this is the main reason I wanted it was because I think these are perfect for recipes. Can you see yourself putting a recipe, you know, the, the ingredients here and the instructions here and the ingredients here, instructions here. Isn't this perfect? So that's what we're working toward. Now, in the video you're going to see Saturday, this is a little bit detailed to make. So you're going to see me make this and cover the pages. So you'll get to see kind of that first thing we always do. And then when we get back together, I'll be showing you my plan for uh, recipes and things like that. I plan to use the stamp set we made recently called Recipe Card Builder. It's my plan to use that. That could change, but I want to let y'all know that too in case, you're, in case you're interested. Look at all these pieces we've got to cut. So we'll be cutting some pages. That's what my notes are for. So there's you a little sneak peek. Oh! Are they in? Did Taylor get it fixed or is it she not time? She got it fixed, but I don't know that she has them all. 
Something else came back y'all been asking about. She got them fixed on the website. <laughs> oh, they are? So I can talk about them? Yeah. Okay. Impressibles are back in stock. This is mine. You guys have seen mine a thousand times. I don't have any to show you. We were uh, There's a bunch. There was 144 that came back. There's a lot to choose from. If you have, I know, Tamitha, <laughs> don't, yikes. Honestly, you may not give those numbers, and the reason you may not is because, you know how I always say you need to measure yourself? This is one of those that they may need to measure for themselves. Um, if you don't know what this is, you might have seen me use it in the video earlier. This is what I use on my Misty when I am pressing in, pressing down to get the ink level, to get the ink to go nice and smooth. This is what I use. This is what this is for. It slides smoothly across of, across of this. It slides smoothly across this. And um, we love that they're these beautiful pieces. Cynthia makes these. I think Cynthia was in the, in the room earlier. And the ones she's made are so beautiful, y'all. She's got, I think we had orange and pink and teal and black. What other colors do we have come in? Blue? I can't remember. And just so you know, Taylor painstakingly <laughs> takes pictures of each, each different style and puts them in so you can see the picture of what you're purchasing. Now, what you can't see is how large the glass is you're purchasing. So here's your tip for that, okay? Do you see how much space I have around this one? You can see that lip. This is the same size on all impressibles. This base is the same size. So when you're looking at them, you can judge size by that, okay? This disc doesn't change. These guys change in size, and there are some really, really cool ones. Really cool yes, ones. There are pink, orange. Um, there's the Meme Made It sequined logo design ones. Oh, um, is that red, this one? green, no. blue, black, and purple? Lots of colors. Uh, maybe that one. Yeah. These came back. Yes, I don't know because they was all. gone. <laughs> these are cool. Let me show y'all these. So this one is the sequin logo. See the logo in there? Isn't that cool? And this is a good one too. I, I'm, I'm big on this kind of situation, like how you hold them. I typically hold them to the side. That's also why I really love this because I have a big old hand. But you know, it's funny. Um, there was a sweet lady here this week named Miss Lynn and she was trying to pick out her impressible and she had a small hand and I was glad I was here to see it because what I thought would work for her hand didn't. Oddly enough, the taller one worked better. Like any of the ones, like mine is short and chunky, and you would think you would want a short one for small hands, but the taller one worked better for her hand, which it was just, her hand just went right on it. She's like, oh, I like how that fits. So is is the one that looks like the Rubik's Cube? I don't know if we got I that one in. I don't know because I didn't see all of them. You just have to go through and click and look. I haven't seen them all. There were 144, and let me tell you, they were changing on Taylor's desk constantly. <laughs> Every time I'll be like, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. I can't help but go by and pick them up. Like, if I see them, I pick them up. Lucy, it's not picture perfect. It's the uh, recipe card builder is the stamp set I'll be trying to incorporate, okay? I do love to hobnob. She's talking about this. I do love to hobnob. Actually, do love to hobnob. Um. <laughs> she do. Um, Sandy, are you talking about when you come to visit? Hopefully we will too. Hopefully we will too. All right. That's really all I've got. And I do want to get off before the reveal happens because reveal, um, for you, to, for you to know this, if you're in the original club, your reveal is every sixth of the month at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Every sixth of the month, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time is when we reveal the Stamp Club. I do not reveal them outside of the reveal video. I do not show them any other time. We did that one time. It didn't go well. We won't do it again. Um, your Scripture Club is always revealed on the 21st of the month um, at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. So we don't change those dates and times unless something happens. And even if something happens, I do something to tell you what happened at those times. So, Lynn, there is a wish list on the website. So you can add stuff to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lucy, unless there's a raccoon incident, and then, that, then I can't control the raccoons. You can't control the weather. You can't control raccoons as events. You cannot control raccoons. 
<laughs> it was the bane of my existence. I love raccoons so much. And Vince has his trail cameras at his land. And they they just run amok. They are, like, it's not his land. It's the raccoon's land. And they crack me up. Oh. It just, they'll be... There'll be 10 in the screen, yeah. and their eyes are glowing. And any time a deer walks up to try to eat, they try to run it off. I mean, it's just like, it's awful. I love it. I just think they're hilarious. All right, we're going to get off of uh, the show today. We're going to let Vinny pray us out. You guys, um, um, if you have any specific prayer requests you would like for us to pray with you about, you can do that on our Facebook group called Created in Christ. We would like for you without, this is a prayer request. I just, here's what you need to know. God knows, okay? But we would like for you to be remembering our sweet, precious friend, James, okay? That's all you need to know. Just take him to the Lord. God knows exactly what his needs are. And just, um, if you'll be praying with, with us for James, we would really appreciate that. Um, so Vinny's going to pray us out. All right, let's pray. Hey, God, thank you so much for this day, for all of your blessings and for the time that we can share together the fellowship that we share, the encouragement that we are to one another, and just the blessing that we have you to thank for all of it. I pray, God, today for those that are sick and those that are hurting. I lift James up to you today, Lord. I know, God, that, that you are the great physician. You are the fantastic healer. And, God, nothing is impossible for you. So, God, we lay James at your feet and trust you, God, to continue to heal his body. I pray, God, for those that are uh, going through struggles in their own life, those that are uh, dealing with medical issues, God, and, and facing uh, chemotherapy or radiation treatments or whatever, God, I know how devastating that can be. But, God, I pray that you will strengthen them and help them get through uh, every trial that comes their way. Lord, we just praise you for who you are. We thank you for your son, Jesus, who you sent to die on the cross for us, to pay the price for our sin, not based on anything he did, but what, uh, what we have done. He chose to sacrifice himself to be obedient to you uh, and, and do what you ask, God, and that was to pay the price for my sin and for the sin of every person washing. Lord, we love you and we thank you for that because we could never give you enough praise and honor and glory, so we want to try. God, thank you for each person that's watching. I pray you bless them for the sacrifice that they make of their time to be with us, to support us, and just to love on us, God. Uh, we do this all to honor you and to glorify you, God. And I pray that comes across in everything we do. For we ask it in your precious son's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Pray for those folks that are putting all that junk in our chat. And uh, we appreciate you guys not calling attention to them. You did a good job today. We appreciate it. Um, until